guys, my name is Lauren Lincoln, and today I'm going to be talking about potassium. So, let's talk about facts. Potassium was discovered in 1807 by Humphrey Davis. He named the element potassium, which is derived from the English word potash, meaning alkali. So, as you can see, potassium's atomic number is 19, its symbol is K, and has an atomic mass of 39.098. Now, let's pretend this is potassium. It has a silver color with the bumpy texture with the silvery shine on it. Its melting point is 146.08 degrees and its boiling point is 1,398 degrees. And when you hold it up to, the, to a light, the light shines all over the place, a million different directions, just like my gold jacket. Yeah. All right, and when it's at room temperature, it is in a solid state with a 0.89 grams per centimeter density. It has a hardness of 0.4, and cutting through it is like a knife through frozen butter. Yep, that looks about right. All right, gotta run. Hey guys, my name is Mr. Banana, and have you considered that all fruits and vegetables do have potassium in it? So fruits like apples and vegetables like potatoes all have potassium, even bananas. Oh wait, did I say bananas? Ah! Hey guys, it's Learn Lincoln, I'm back. And now I'm gonna talk about uses. So how is potassium used? Well, it's used in the medical field for people that have low potassium levels is put into pills that helps their hearts beat and their lungs breathe. It also decreases the chance of stroke. And when you put it into water, it explodes. It's used in fun science experiments because, I mean, why wouldn't you want to do that? Now, let's talk about it. Is there enough potassium? Do we have enough of it? And the answer is yes, we do. It's an excess supply because it makes up 2.4% of the Earth's crust and there are billions of deposits of it all around the world. Now, let's do a quick science experiment. So, here we have our pure form of potassium. And here we have water, or H2O. And now, when we take our potassium and put it into water, it makes this big explosion, because potassium is very volatile when it comes in contact with water. That's why we, that's why we store it in uh, mineral oil. So the gas that comes off when these two mix is called potassium hydroxide. And potassium has many more compounds than just potassium hydroxide, such as potassium chloride, which is used in fields and salts. Another one of its compounds is potassium carbonate, and it is used as a drying, a drying agent in, pharmaceutical, in some pharmaceutical laboratories. Well, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time.